Okay, now the fourth problem. The Carnot engine uses hot and cold reservoirs at 1684 Kelvin and 842 Kelvin respectively. Okay, so now we can draw this 1684 Kelvin and uh, the another reservoir is at 842 and the Carnot engine. So, this reversible engine operates between these two reservoirs. The entire uh, the heat input for this engine is QH and uh, let us say this is QC. Okay, now the entire work del delivered by this engine is used to operate a Carnot heat pump. Heat pump. Entire work W of the engine is supplied here. The pump removes heat from the 842 Kelvin reservoir. So, for example, I can draw this like this 842 Kelvin reservoir. Pump removes heat from the 842 Kelvin reservoir. So, let us say this is the heat removed by the pump, I will say P, okay, pH. Then and puts it into the hot reservoir at another temperature of T dash. Okay. So, now this is P, P oh, I will say this is pH and this is PC I will say useful notation. So, now this is the scenario. The amount of heat removed from the 842 reservoir is also QH. So, this QPC is equal to QH. Do you understand? So, the heat engine receives QH and puts QC to 842 Kelvin reservoir. As I told you, reservoir temperature, you add heat or remove it, the temperature will not change. It will be maintained at 842 Kelvin. So, now the heat pump removes heat or receives heat from the 842 Kelvin reservoir and uh, rejects it to another temperature reservoir at another temperature T dash. So, we want to find the temperature T dash. What is also given is the amount of heat removed from 842 that is removed means what this QPC is equal to QH that is the heat received by the engine. So, this is what is given. Again, this heat pump is Carnot heat pump. Please understand. So, both the engine and the heat pump are reversible. So, that is the main thing here. So, we can solve this problem. So, first let us find the work done by the engine that will be equal to efficiency of the engine into QH. What is the efficiency of the engine? Given the temperatures we can find the efficiency as 842 the 1 minus 842 divided by 1684 that will be equal to 0.5. So, that efficiency of the engine. So, that means W of the engine will be equal to 0.5 times QH. Okay, That is the one equation 1. Now, this entire work is delivered to the heat pump, Carnot heat pump. Okay. Now, for the pump, we can write the first law that is minus WR equal to QPC minus QPH or WR equal to QPH minus QPC which is equal to QPH minus QPC is given as QH itself. So, we can write this. Okay, now, we know that this WR will be equal to W sorry here WE WE equal to WR. Okay. So, because the entire work is given. So, now you can see this
what is wr 0.5 qh right from this so this is expression expression 1 from 1 i can write wr equal to 0.5 qh which is equal to qph minus qh which implies qph equal to qph that is the heat which is dejected by the heat pump to a reservoir at a temperature of T dash that will be equal to 1.5 times QH. So, this is the equation I get. Now, what is COP of the heat pump will be equal to for heat pump what is the objective heat transfer the heat which is rejected to the high temperature reservoir will be the objective energy transfer. So, we can say that will be equal to Q P H divided by W. So, now I know this what is this Q P H 1.5 times Q H divided by W is W R W R is 0.5 times Q H 0.5 times Q H ok. So, that will be equal to so Q H cancels basically. So, I will get the C O P as 3 C O P of the heat pump as 3 now, COP is defined as what for the heat pump Q pH divided by Q pH or say W, we can say WR, I will say Q pH minus Q PC. So, in terms of temperature because this is Carnot, in terms of temperature I can say this is Q pH is received uh, rejected by the heat pump to the temp temperature reservoir at temperature of T dash. So, I can say this T dash divided by T dash minus heat 42. So, that will be equal to 3 ok. So, from this I can find T dash as 1263 Kelvin. Do you understand? So, here this interesting problem the there is a common reservoir 842 Kelvin engine rejects heat to this reservoir and a uh, yeah, heat pump takes heat from this reservoir and rejects to a higher temperature reservoir at T dash. Now, the entire work developed by the engine is supplied to the heat pump where the engine receives an amount of heat equal to Q H from a yeah, reservoir at 1684 and uh, the heat received by the heat pump from 842 Kelvin reservoir is equal to the heat which is received by the engine. So, under this context considering that both the engine as well as the heat pump are Carnot that is reversible we can write the efficiency in COP in terms of temperature in Kelvin and get the uh, solution. Fifth problem a reversible heat engine operates between two systems at constant temperatures of 600 degrees centigrade that is 873 Kelvin and uh, 313 Kelvin a reversible heat engine. So, we can say that engine is reversible and it does some work also W and uh, let it the heat ok Q H E I can say similarly this is Q C E I can say that is work by the engine. The engine drives a reversible refrigerator or which operates between systems at constant temperatures of 40 and minus 20 ok. So, that means I can say this is 40 and minus 20 is 253. So, now that means this receives heat from the low temperature that is Q C R and rejects to high temperature Q H R ok. This is the scenario here. Now, the heat transfer to the engine is 2000 kilo joules. So, that is this is given as 2000 kilojoules. The net out 
the net work output of the combined engine and refrigerator refrigerator is 350 that means the entire work done by the engine is not given that is some work which is coming out also that is this so that means i can say work to the refrigerator is wr okay the engine is also reversible here and refrigerator also reversible we have to understand that in uh, evaluate the heat transfers involving the refrigerator that is what is qcr and qhr that's what we want to find so now what is the efficiency of the engine because of the reversible engine okay reversible engine okay i can say efficiency equal to 1 1 minus tc by th which is equal to 1 minus 313 divided by 873 so that will be equal to 0.6415 now what is the work developed by the engine that will be equal to efficiency of the engine into q h e which is equal to 0.6415 into 2000 kilojoules kilojoules per cycle okay so that will be equal to 1283 kilojoules okay that is the work now net work output of the engine and refrigeration combination from the system taking these two as system is 350 that means work for refrigerator will be equal to work delivered by developed by the engine minus the work net that is 350 kilo joules so that will be equal to 933 kilo joules okay so that means the net work output the see refrigeration refrigerator only will receive the work it will not it is not going to give any output so the work developed by the engine partly given to refrigerator and partly given to the surroundings so the surroundings value is given here 350 kilo joules so from that we have we can find the work supplied to the refrigerator so that is we the total work developed by the engine is 1283 kilo joules so the work sent to the or shared with the refrigerator will be equal to we minus 350 okay 350 is the net work done by the combination of engine and refrigerator so considering these two as a system okay so now this is done so by first law we can say wr wr equal to minus wr equal to qcr minus qhr or we can say qhr minus qcr equal to wr correct so this is the equation now i know the value of wr 933 kilo joules so this will be equation 1 for me okay now cop of the refrigerator cop of the refrigerator because i know the temperatures now what is that cop by definition it is qcr divided by wr so now this is qcr divided by wr is qhr minus qcr now in terms of temperatures i can write 253 divided by 313 minus 253 so that will be equal to 4.2167 that will be the cop now cop is calculated using the temperature because of the fact that the refrigerator is reversible in nature so we can see for example here QCR if it's if it's taken to the denominator it will be one divided by QHR minus QCR minus one QHR 
divided by QCR can be written as corresponding TH and TC for the refrigerators. So, that will be the answer. So, now from this I can find QCR equal to what WR into COP of the refrigerator. So, that will be equal to Four point two one six seven into nine hundred and thirty three. Okay, so that will be three three thousand nine hundred and thirty four point one five kilo joules per cycle. Everything is per cycle. So now from this I can get so one of the heat transfer is got. Now apply equation one from Equation one, I can get what Q H R equal to W R plus Q C R. So I know now W R is nine hundred thirty three. Q C R now only we have found that is three nine three four point one five. So Q H R will be equal to Four eight six seven point one five kilojoules. So these are the two heat transfers. So again, a problem where the reversible heat engine and reversible refrigerator are involved. Temperatures are given. So when temperatures are given, of course you have to convert that into Kelvin. So if you use temperature degrees in degrees, all the answers will be wrong. So main thing is you have to convert. The temperatures into Kelvin, and now the ratio of heat transfers can be written as the ratio of the temperatures which are expressed in Kelvin. So this is the problem. The sixth one: a heat engine operating between two reservoirs, thousand Kelvin and three hundred Kelvin. Is used to drive, so that is the heat engine operates between these two. So engine used to, so this engine basically is not given as reversible. We have to note every point here. So there is some work developed by the engine. So let us say this is Q H E W E Q C E usual notations. This is used to drive the heat pump. Heat pump HP, which extracts heat from a reservoir. So this is three hundred Kelvin. Extracts heat that is like this. So I can say Q C P at a rate twice that of That at which the engine rejects heat to it, that means this will be equal to two times Q C E. That is, engine rejects an amount of Q C E to three hundred. Q the H P takes two times of that. So that if it if it is Q C P, then the Q C P can be written as two times Q C E. Okay, now this has to reject. Heat that is QHP, let us say, and to some temperature here, some temperature of the reservoir, let us say that is T. Now, if the efficiency of the engine is forty percent of the maximum possible, that is, efficiency of the engine equal to forty percent of the efficiency of the Carnot engine, maximum possible is what? Maximum possible efficiency will be developed by the Carnot engine. Okay, maximum possible efficiency is developed by a reversible or yeah. Carnot engine. 
So, I can write what is if you see Carnot, I can find this. How because I know the temperatures. That will be simple. One minus the lower temperature reservoir three hundred, which is in Kelvin, divided by the high temperature reservoir value that is thousand. Okay, so this will be equal to point seven. So efficiency of the engine will be equal to point four into point seven. Equal to zero point two eight. That's it. Similarly, the COP of the heat pump. So obviously, this engine and heat pump are not reversible. They are not Carnot cycles. Yes, the heat pump is fifty percent of the maximum possible. So that is COP of the heat pump equal to fifty by hundred into COP of the Carnot. Operating between two temperature reservoirs. What is the temperature of the reservoir to which the heat pump rejects heat? That is what is this T? What is the value of T? Next, what is the rate of heat rejection from the heat pump? If the rate of supply of heat to the engine is fifty kilojoules per second, that is, this is fifty kilojoules per second. So, what is the rate of rejection from the heat pump? That is, what is QP, QHP? If the rate of supply of engine heat to the engine, that is, from the thousand kilowatt engine receives the heat, that is, if that is fifty kilojoules per second, what will be QHP value? Okay, now this is what is given. So now, please see that the Carnot efficiency uh, COP can be calculated once. I know the temperature. Okay, and now we can just write the expression for heat pump. The objective heat transfer is Q H P, Q H P divided by the work transfer W E. W E is equal to Q H P minus Q C P. So I can write this as one divided by one minus Q C P divided by Q H P, or this is equal to one divided by one minus TCP, TCP is three hundred by T. So I can write this as T by T minus three hundred. That's it. That is the Carnot. Okay. So we can write COP of the heat pump as fifty percent of the COP of the Carnot, which is equal to point five times T divided by T minus three hundred. So that is done. Now I know the efficiency of the engine. From that I can calculate the work. Correct. So what is work divided by the engine? That will be efficiency of the engine into Q. That is the heat received by the engine. That will be equal to point two eight times fifty. Zero point two eight into fifty. That is not so. Now from first law for the engine W E equal to Q H E minus Q C E. Or I can say zero point two eight into fifty equal to Q H equal to fifty minus Q C E. So which implies Q C E will be equal to thirty six. Thirty-six kilojoule per cycle. Okay, so now this is W R will be equal to W E. Okay, now from the first law for the heat pump, so the heat pump actually. So W H P equal to W E. So W H P equal to Q H P minus Q C P. Q H P minus Q C P. So which is equal to Q H P minus Q C P can be written as two into Q C E. 
it is given again if we, if we go back you will see that QCP is given as 2 times QCE correct. So, it is given um, pump extracts heat from the reservoir at 300 Kelvin at the rate twice that of the uh, value what is rejected by the heat that is QCE 2 times of that. So, this you know now I know this also. So, from this WHP is W E. So, I know everything. So, I can calculate QHP from this substituting the value as 86 kilo joule per cycle. Now, how will you calculate the COP of the heat pump is given as 0 0.5 T divided by T minus 300. So, from this I can calculate T, but COP should be known. What is COP? That is QHP divided by WHP. Okay, now we know both. So, which implies T will be equal to 326.6 Kelvin. Okay. We can also do in other way. First, we can see that for the pump QHP minus QCP equal to WHP. Okay. So, this is equal to WE. So, now I can write this as QHP minus 2 times QCE equal to WHP. Okay, now I know W E is equal to Q H E minus Q C E. Correct. So now efficiency of the engine e equal to one minus Q C E divided by Q H E. So Efficiency of the engine is 0 0.28, 0 0.28 equal to 1 minus QCE divided by QHE. So, from this I can find QCE equal to in terms of QHE I can substitute correct. So, 1 minus 0 0.28 that is 0 0.72 into QHE. So, WE can be calculated as point sorry q h q h e minus 0 0.72 times q h e do you understand so that will be equal to so i will actually write in the other way q c e i will substitute here so this means q h e i will remove from this okay so what i will do is q h e equal to q c e divided by 0 0.72 minus QCE. We will write like this. So, now using this here QHP minus 2 QCE equal to WE is WHP equal to WE. That will be QCE into 1 divided by 0 0.72 minus 1. So, that will give you So, you can take the other side. So, QHP can be written as 2 plus 1 by 0.72 minus 1 times QCE. So, now we can say COP of the heat pump equal to QHP by W. So, now W also can be written in terms of QH, QCE, correct? So, substituting that I can say 2 plus 1 by 0 0.72 minus 1 into QCE divided by W can be written as 0 0.389 QCE. Now, this cancels. 
so now we'll get a value of 6.14138 so that means i can say this is the actual so from that i can directly find so this is equal to what 0.5 times t divided by t minus 300 from this also i can find t as 326.6 kelvin okay so there are two ways to do this you need not calculate take into account of qhe directly you can do this by connecting the engines engine and the heat pump the work actually developed by the engine is totally supplied to the heat pump from that we can do 